Welcome back to the Swear Wolves. I'm Brett. I'm David. David. Yeah. How are you, my friend? We just got back. No, I'm tired. Yeah, <laughs> you know, just now. Your arms are tired? Yeah. Because we just flew back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> we just yeah, got... We're Texas Frightmare. Texas Frightmare. We just good, got good back uh, yesterday. Yeah. So we have a lot to tell. Just not right now. Not in this episode. We're still processing everything. <laughs> a lot to process. We record these episodes beforehand. Yeah, so we, we haven't gone yet. <laughs> we haven't technically gone yet, but when we, in the past, we've kind of edited in stuff to time it, but there's just no time. Yeah. Cause we'll come back like right before this episode comes out, like the yeah. day, the, yeah. Yeah. The day that this episode drops. Yeah. No and, thanks. Yeah. It won't be, it won't be good, but you'll hear all about it next week. So tune in. Something Ladies to look forward to. Yeah. <laughs> next, same Swearwolves time, same Swearwolves channel. Yep. Robin, come help me. <laughs> <laughs> with my penis <laughs> um one of the guests at texas frightmare was a guy named bruce davison you know him no you don't mm. you never heard of him before know the face i think he's one of those character actors been in lots of stuff yeah he was in a movie called willard what back in 1971 what so when i was looking at the guest li- list for, for frightmare f- texas frightmare i was like hmm well, that guy. <laughs> maybe we'll do. Maybe oh, we'll do one Willard. of his movies. Maybe we'll do Willard. And then when I was thinking about it even more, I was like, "Well, we can double feature that with the sequel, which is Ben." There you go. Two movies I had never seen before in my life. And I'd seen Willard, but I was probably like ten years old, so it's been a very long time. And I had seen the remake, the Crispin Glover Willard movie, but and I'd never I seen the original. Can't remember if I've seen it. It's basically the same thing. I remember when it came out. I think I did see it, but I'm not positive. Yeah. If I did see it, it didn't leave an impression. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was all right. Yeah. We're not talking about that one, though. We're going to talk <laughs> about these two. <laughs> the original. The original Willard and the original Ben. You know, my life has changed now. Two things did it. One was a friend I had named Socrates. And you. Your nightmares end. Will it begins? Tear him up! No Willard is the one movie you should not see alone. Willard came out in 1971. Hmm. Where were you? <laughs> I was in my dad's ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> Being like, I'm going to swim around here for the next, for the nine, next nine years. <laughs> yeah, and make my move. <laughs> Playing the long game. February, February 26, 1971. <laughs> what was the number one movie? <laughs> Is it a movie I've heard of? Nope. All right, because I picked a movie I've heard of. I went with A Clockwork Orange. <laughs> no, it was co- a movie called Cold Turkey. Ah. And as I was researching this i went what what, what, what i've never what heard of this fucking this? movie this movie was the number one movie this fucking cold turkey movie it was 70s 1971 <laughs> though like it's like it wasn't like 1921 like in movies that i wouldn't have heard of Dude, last week we did a movie that came out in 2015 the number one movie i'd never heard <laughs> of true, so <laughs> i guess yeah, i guess you're right <laughs> i don't know I guess you're right. all right cold turkey sounds good though like after thanksgiving go to the fridge get yourself some cold turkey oh yeah I was thinking quitting smoking or yeah, whatever. or quitting drinking or whatever. Yeah. But cold turkey is good. Turkey sandwich? Mm. We got a ways to go before Thanksgiving, my friend. That's true. Because it's I'm fucking very hot. patient. It's fucking hot in Arizona. It is. You only have to deal with this bullshit for a few more weeks. <laughs> that is true. By the time this releases, yeah, only only about a month. Yeah. But right now, today. The day it, we're recording, it is warm. It is 90 degrees and it is in April. Yeah. We <sighs> both aren't wearing pants. <laughs> that is true. That is a that true is, statement. We're wearing shorts. <laughs> we are wearing shorts. Yeah, but, we're not naked. But yeah. Where are we? It is uh it is so fucking hot here already. I'm done with it. Yeah, you feeling swampy over there? A little bit. Yeah, in the butt region. Nope. Yeah. All over. Mm. All over. <laughs> <sighs> so clammy. <laughs> <laughs> Number one song. February twenty uh, sixth. Now put on your thinking cap. Okay. February twenty sixth. Okay. okay. Wait, Winter is cold. Okay. Okay. It's okay. two weeks after Valentine's Day. Nineteen seventy one. Something romantic. One, one plus nine is ten plus <laughs> seven. Is I'm going with Superstar by the Carpenters. Don't you remember you, you told, told me, me love me, baby? 
boy, we are just like Karen and Richard Carpenter. Said you'd be coming back this way again, baby. Baby, 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 oh, oh, baby. Yeah. I love you. I really do. Perfect. Let's not. <laughs> just <laughs> like <laughs> that. They got recorded contracts. Beautiful. Arista called us up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We're out of here. <laughs> This will be the last episode yeah, of the we're, we're, we're vocalists now. <laughs> <laughs> One bad apple by the Osmonds. Nope. You know who the Osmonds are. Yeah, yeah. Listen, we live in a world of Mormons in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know that song. No, the Osmonds uh, had a song called One Bad Apple, which is really weird. There's kind of a connection between this because the Osmonds was, of course, Donny Osmond mm-hmm. and his brothers. Marie, Marie oh. wasn't in there. It was just, oh, the, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. just the boys. So Donny Osmond was like the Michael Jackson. The Osmonds were like the white Mormon Michael Jackson Five. <laughs> the Jackson Five, yeah. <laughs> and Donny was the Michael. You know, he was the cute one. And he was the one who sang, yeah, the most. And uh, the song "One Bad Apple," one bad apple, the, the whole damn bunch. I don't know how it goes. It's something like that. But uh, one Sounds bad apple familiar. destroy the whole bunch. Or Maybe that's just the expression that I know. <laughs> yeah, it might be that, not the song. I don't know. But they. The sequel to this movie is a movie called Ben, which Michael the song, Jackson did the theme song. Michael Jackson did. They asked Donny Osmond to do it, and he, like, he no. had to turn it down. He's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> movie about rodents? <laughs> no. I'm so much better than that. No, no he was write actually. songs about apples. <laughs> he was actually busy doing something else, so he couldn't record it. And so then they went to Michael. And he said, I'll do it. I I like rats. I'll do a song. I like rats. We're not talking about Ben yet, though. Let's talk about (laughs) Willie. All right. Let's do it. Uh, So One Bad Apple by the Osmonds. Not Superstar, but Superstar is a good song. It is. Written by Gilbert Ralston, based on Ratman's Notebooks by Stephen Gilbert. (laughs) Ratman. I'm the (laughs) Ratman. What a dumb song. This is it's fucking stupid. I'm the Scat, Scat Man. Man. <laughs> Every time I hear, well, Scatman Crothers yeah. comes from, like, from The Shining, right? And then I think of like somebody who just like shit. <laughs> yeah, like the, the scat porn. <laughs> oh. yeah. Poop all over me. Shiza films. Oh, <laughs> They're my yeah, favorite. Yeah, films. <laughs> they call me the Scat Man. <laughs> be bop 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 Be bop 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 all over my face. <laughs> That's the song of poop hitting my face. <laughs> <laughs> the different sizes make different tones. It's like it's like when you put water in glasses yeah. and you ooh, beep, bop, 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 bop. <laughs> <laughs> Little pellets go beep, big ones go bop bop. <laughs> Shit goes bop bop. bop, bop. <laughs> Diarrhea. That's beep. the end. that's the end of the song. <laughs> the song is over. I, I'm the Scott man. Ich liebe Scheiße. Directed by <laughs> directed by Daniel Mann with music by Alex North. Okay, Bruce Davison plays Willard Styles. And then uh, there's other people. Sandra Locke plays Joan. Elsa also Lan- Lanchester. Elsa Lanchester. The Bride of Frankenstein herself. Yeah. You know what? I didn't even realize that. Yeah. As I was watching the movie, as I was typing this out, I didn't even realize that. But now that you said that, I'm like, yep. Well, it was weird because uh, I was like... Who is that? I know that face. And then mm. I looked up. I was like, who's in this movie? I was like, oh, shit. It's her. Yeah. Cool. Ernie Borgnine. Yeah. And it's Al Martin. Al Martin. And other people. Yeah. That's your main cast. I don't have a budget, but I do have a box office. How much do you think this movie made? I'm go quattro. Four million. 14.5 million. Good for you, Willard. Modest success. Yeah. Of in the movie. 70s? It sounds like a lot of money. Decent. And spawned a sequel so it right. must have done good go. enough yep what's this movie about david rats <laughs> kind it's of about willard yeah it's his birthday it's the big two seven still lives at home do you remember being 27 yep i remember thinking i was so old when i was 27 yeah same i was like oh that's God, when kurt cobain was... died yeah he was 27 a lot of people like, i'm like jim morrison now yeah except for i've outlived dead. him <laughs> yeah except i'm more alive and no offense, but not as less, less, <laughs> and less attractive. Yes, <laughs> but you know, other than that, you're but Morrison, like, a- Morrison esque. <laughs> there you go. You're both men. Cobain like. You're both men. We're men. Yeah. Played the guitar. 
There you go. He plays it left-handed. I play it right-handed. But you are left-handed. But I am left-handed. And Kurt Cobain was right-handed. Wait a second. That's and I'm insane. sure you've worn a sweater before. And Kurt Cobain wore a sweater. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> See all the connections? Yeah. You're practically the same person. Yeah. 27 was a good year, though. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I think I didn't appreciate being 27 when I was 27. But now that I'm 157. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I <laughs> would love to do that again. I'd love to be 27 again. Same. The Willard is he's very meek. Yes, the, that's the perfect yeah description. He's, he's a nice guy, but he's he's kind of dumb. Wet blanket. Yeah. yeah, he's dull. Yeah, he's, he's got no prospects, boring, no ambition, no intelligence. Like, he's a, he's, he's a, not he's, stupid. No, he's kind of like a likable, nice loser. Yeah, affable, affable. Sure. I don't even know what that word. I've heard that word. <laughs> but yeah, he's just kind of meek, I think is the way to put it. Yes. And he his father started a company. And his father has passed away. And him and his mom live in this beautiful Victorian like a mansion basically. Mansion. Yeah. And Willard part of the agreement was that Willard will have a job there and he can never get fired. Yeah. And this guy Al Martin, Ernie yeah, Ernest Borgnine, Borgnine. He uh he hates Willard and he picks on him and he makes him do like shit jobs. He gives him, uh, yeah, and he gives him a bunch of extra work. So he kind of overloads him. He has to He's work on the weekends and at night just to get shit done. And uh, he won't fire him, but he wants this, this guy wants to make Willard's life a living hell. Yep. Willard's mom, that's uh, the Brown Also Lanchester. Lanchester. Yeah. <laughs> she is like overbearing. Oh, for sure. And she's always like, poor me, poor me. Like, yeah. oh, Willard. And she's kind of sickly, so he takes care of her. Yeah, and, and anything that Willard does, of course, affects her more than it affects him. So, mm-hmm. like, how could you do this to me? Yeah, she's everything, one of those everything's people. about her. Yeah, selfish yep. motherfuckers. I hate that. Yeah. Well, I even hate. on his birthday, like, she throws a party for him, but it's all of her friends. Yeah, and they're all, like, 75 yeah, they're years all old. Yeah, they're old as shit. Yeah. And, I, I mean, to be fair, Willard doesn't have any friends of his own really but like, these aren't his friends no so even when he comes home he's kind of like what are all these people doing here plus he has to do shit around the house and that house doesn't get taken care of like it's a rundown it's beautiful yeah like, he, i would live there in a heartbeat but it's like willard doesn't have the skills to do all the upkeep no so, and they don't really have the money to hire anybody no so it's like they got this big house but they're not rich no and they have a mortgage and all that kind yeah. of shit and he has to mow the lawn and do this and do that and, and he doesn't like it and there's rats <laughs> yeah and his mom problem. his mom's like you got to kill those rats and uh he goes to kill the rats but he just can't do it can't bring himself to do it he's gonna drown the rats right like in a like a pond or a fountain kind of thing yeah he leads them out to the middle of this like uh empty pond yeah and then he takes the plank away and he's gonna fill he's it gonna up drown them but again he's meek he can't kill yeah, he's like, i'm not doing that he's like i'm not a, i'm not a murderer but he, but he lies about it and tells his mom yeah i got those rats real good yeah, killed them. I, I killed them. I killed yeah. them good, Ma. And they pled with me and begged <laughs> for their lives, and I fucking killed them. Yeah. I didn't give a shit. <laughs> it's like, but, oh, well, <laughs> uh, Meanwhile, Ernest Borgnine uh, is this, I don't know, he's like a womanizing per. Yeah, he's just a slime ball. He's a slime. Yeah, he's gross. He's got this secretary who he like. He's like grabbing her boobs. But like, she's like enjoying it. Like, yeah, and kind of like in front of everyone. Yeah. Like he's not even being discreet about it. she's like laughing, it. and he's <laughs> laughing, and they're like drinking on the job. It's like, what kind of what fucking kind of place office is this? Is this? <laughs> and how do I apply? No. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in. <laughs> what was the business they were in? Did they have like a dock, like a loading dock? Or I don't know, it was some very Art Vandalay importer, exporter kind of <laughs> yeah. shit going on, I think. Textiles. Textiles. <laughs> Latex. <laughs> Chips. Yeah. Yeah, right. It's like very Art Vandalay. Yeah. Vandalay Industries, I think. <laughs> Vandalay <is what> Industries. <laughs> Vandalay <laughs> Industries. I think that's what it was. <laughs> oh, and... Uh, uh, Al Martin, uh, the Ernest Borgnine guy, he's hired somebody to help, uh, like on a temporary basis, to help Willard get his job done because he's so behind. And it's a female. Yeah, her name's Joan. And she actually takes a liking. She's very nice. To Willard. Yeah. She thinks he's cute. He thinks she's cute. They kind of hit it off a little bit. Yeah. Meanwhile, Willard's at home with these rats. And he's kind of befriended them. Yeah. He names one of them Socrates. Socrates, that's the white rat, I think, like yep. an albino. He's got one named Queenie. And then a big black rat names that one Ben. Yeah. Let's put a pin on that one. (laughs) But that's the name of the next movie. (gasps) Like Ben. 
Mm, yeah. <laughs> I feel like that song's coming. It's here. Oh. Oh, keep it together, Brett. Keep it together. <laughs> mm. Willard befriends them and he trains them. He teaches them stuff. He teaches them English. <laughs> Basically, he's like, hey, I can, we can't understand Food? each other. Food? And then all of a sudden they know how to- Empty, say, empty. <laughs> Go kill that person. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that's basically it pretty much yeah he it happens rats quick. pretty quick yeah these rats but uh i guess we're led to believe that like socrates and queenie and ben they're intelligent anyway they're especially socrates rats. and ben yeah and they're like the leaders but okay now willard's nice he gives these four or five rats a home he opens up that fucking door to the basement there's a hundred thousand rats down there. <laughs> it's gonna like, stink oh, my cousin's so moved bad in. they're like oh my god it's like Smells like feces and rat semen. <laughs> this has got to be a nonstop orgy. There was baby rats. Oh, yeah. There was old rats. There's, there's young all the, rats. All the fornication going on down there. There was And rats. defecation. Fornication, defecation, oh. urination. Yeah. All the oh. Asians. Yes. Rhythm Nation. <laughs> all of it. We are a part <laughs> of the Rhythm Nation, we'll, for sure. They'll come out with little fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Say <laughs> Little fucking black jumpsuits yeah. on. We are... Yeah. <laughs> Um. <laughs> yeah, he opens that. He opens that basement door. There's just rats everywhere. And he's like, I can't feed all these fuckers. Yeah. He's like, guys, I can't feed all of you. As he feeds them. Yeah. And the rats are like, he's like, I guess this will be the last time. But anyway, his mom dies one day. <laughs> she croaks. <laughs> oh yeah, because he comes home. He's like, mom, she's not there. And like, there, this no, old lady's no, there. No, 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 hold on. Right. He's at work. Oh yeah, he gets a Ernie okay, Borgnine Ernie. gets a call. And he's like, hey, uh, <laughs> he gets a call saying Willard. <laughs> You should go home. He's like, yeah, I think you're done for the day. Why don't you go yeah, home? Yeah, go check on your mom. <laughs> hey, hey, she's ill, apparently. Yeah, she's not feeling well. Yeah, go go, go home. So he goes home, and the mom's friend is there. This woman. Oh, she's the worst. <laughs> she wants to fuck Willard so bad. <laughs> she's like 80 years old. Oh, Willard. <laughs> she's got this shitty wig. The wig is atrocious. She's about, she looks like a thumb. Like that's her body type. Yes, yes. <laughs> she she's got this makeup caked on. Yeah, she's it's, like, well, your mom died. <laughs> your mom's dead, Willard. I'm gonna move in now. <laughs> I'm gonna move in. You're gonna, you're gonna touch my vagina. <laughs> no, 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 sex with all <laughs> the rats so in the cellar. <laughs> I've seen the rats, Willard. Uh, One of them's in my. <laughs> See the fornication <laughs> and the urination and the defecation. I like it. <laughs> so, anyway. Yeah, this woman, she's all over Willard's nuts. She's like, I'm going to move in. And he's like, fuck you. You're not moving in. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, he does. He yells at her. She leaves. (laughs) Mom's dead. Yeah. And then this is when she was broke. So all he got was a $1,500 life insurance policy. That's it. $1,500? That's it? Yep. I mean, even in 1971, you'd think that this woman has more than $1,500 life insurance policy. That's all she's got. That's all she has. So he moves the rats. I think this is when he moves the rats into the house. Like, you guys live with me now. <laughs> He's like, you guys are room- my roommates. I'm going to charge each one of you a dollar. <laughs> yeah. We need and to I expect mortgage. prompt payment first and last month's. You know, put a deposit. <laughs> if you shit on the carpet, it's your ass. Yep, that's the, your deposit's Taking gone. Taking out your deposit. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> the, uh, he starts taking Ben and Socrates with him to work. Yeah, he's, bad idea. Well, he he wants to. Uh, he's they're, they're they're his favorites. Yeah, and he takes them wherever he goes. Well, um, Martin uh, goes up to Willard's house. He's like, I'm gonna buy that fucking house. Yeah, he's like, I want that house, and he wants to destroy it and make apartments there. And he tells Willard, he's like, Look, just sell me the house. I can pay for it. Yeah, I know you got financial problems. You'll I mean, have you, money you can't afford that house, and everything will be fine. And Willard's like, I'm not selling you this fucking house. Yeah. So then. Martin fires him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, but you promised. <laughs> like, well, what are you going to do about it? It's the thing about You're promises. very meek. They're meant to be broken. Yeah. Sorry, kid. He also fires Mar- uh, Willard's girlfriend. Yep. Joan. Oh, by the way, Joan gives Willard a cat. <laughs> and Willard's like, oh, I can't take this. So he just gives it to some guy in a phone booth. <laughs> goes up, yeah. The guy's on the phone. He just pulls up and says, hey, can you hold this for a second? And he just takes <laughs> off. <laughs> Dude, that was pretty presumptuous. Like, give someone a cat. I thought that was someone the you barely know. Worst gift you could ever give him. Yeah. What if animal? he was allergic? Yes. What if he's just he's like, like oh, I the fu- dander. <laughs> oh, I'm allergic to pet dander. What if he's just like I fucking hate cats. Yeah, I'm terrified. I mean, he sees and just goes. What if he's just like <gasps> I have a pet rat. He just fucking soils himself. Yeah. Just say I have a pet rat. Yeah. I can't have a cat. Be, yeah, it'll eat rats or a bat. 
Anything that rhymes with <laughs> rat, I cannot have in my mm. house. Fucking what do you think about that? Mm. I don't even have a doormat. You want to hear me scat? Give it back. That's the sound of poop hitting me. All over my face. That's the sound of rat scat. Oh, oh, the rats all just up high, just raining down feces. I just, ah. It's like a flash dance. Yeah. <laughs> just running. Pull him down. Pulls a chain. <laughs> just rat <laughs> shit. It's a shower of rat shit. Oh, oh yeah. Close my eyes, <laughs> I'm music. <laughs> I'm a maniac. Yeah, maniac. maniac. That's the oh. What song was I singing? I don't know. Is that in the sound? That movie's got a pretty Let's extensive see. soundtrack. Oh, that's the end of the. That's the. What a feeling. What a feeling. <laughs> yep. Is that from Flashdance? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the end credit song, oh, okay. I think, right? I don't know. I think I've so. I haven't seen that movie in forever. I've never seen it. Well, uh, it's been a long time. I know she's a welder. Yes. And she's a dancer. Yes. That's all you need to know. <laughs> that's the film. And she pulls a thing and, and the yeah. rat shit comes And rat shit comes all over her face. Yeah. Maniac. Maniac. <laughs> On the floor. Ah. Uh, but yeah, she gives him a cat. He gives the cat away. <laughs> yeah. And now the cellar is just completely like Shit. full of rats. Rats. And okay, so then. Oh, and yeah, we're going to the same place. He's, he needs money. He does need money. And he goes, well, first he overhears Mar Martin comes to the house and Willard's like hiding. Yeah, he's hiding. Because he, he can't let anybody in that house. There's <laughs> fucking rats everywhere. <laughs> and he overhears. He's like, everybody shut up. Shut up. Be cool. He overhears Martin say how he wants to destroy the house to make apartments. And he's like, I can't let this happen. And he gets a notice on his uh, house that he has to pay taxes. Yeah, the house is going to be foreclosed. And so he's like, I need to go borrow $5,000 from somebody. So he goes to Thumb Lady. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, oh, well, well I'm like, huh, if you eat my pussy, I'll give you $5,000. Like, oh, like, oh, like, never mind. <laughs> no. I will have rat shit on me, but I, I draw the line yeah, at this. I only go so far. <laughs> then he goes to like the mortician. And he's like, can I borrow 5000 the guy's like, I could give it to you, but I'm not gonna. Yeah. He's like, but what would you learn from it? <laughs> I learned to appreciate the, your friendship. He's like, I'll pay you back. He's like, no. Yeah. It's like, uh, you want to bang a corpse? I don't like uh. you bang a corpse. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm not giving you any money. Speaking of which, I got to go. <laughs> yeah. I got to bang this corpse over here. It's part of the job. Yep. I like to bang the corpse while rats shit on me. And he's like, well, I can actually help you with the... And he's like, no. No, I'm a good. No, no, okay. no, I'm good. So uh, he goes to work and he's like, I don't know how I'm going to get this money. Well, there's a guy. That's right. Because this is before he gets fired. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, yeah. It's like right yeah, around yeah, the same time. But yeah. he's like, there's a guy who's like drinking with Mr. With the boss. Martin. It reminded me a lot of uh, Psycho. Yeah, kind of. When he's like, oh, I got this money. Like very talk talking and like very obvious speak. Like, hey. Yeah. And he's like, this guy's going on a trip to Paris with his uh, wife. And he wants five thousand dollars in cashier checks and five thousand dollars cash. Like that's an awful lot of money to be carrying around. He's like, ah, I'll be all right. And why did he go to Martin for this? I don't know. Like that's what I was like. This is like a doc, right? This is Vandalay Industries. It's not a bank. <laughs> no, because she has to go to the bank. Yeah, but it's like they're gonna write him a check and get it out of their I account. Wasn't, I didn't quite understand that. Listen, banking back in <laughs> it was very complicated. Back in the day, must have been really complicated. Now, I mean, you know more than anybody. Now it's just all online. Yeah, and the customer does everything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't do shit. <laughs> but banking back in the day it was like, I, okay, this is what I need to do. I need to get uh, cashier checks. I need to do all this, this kind of shit. Yeah, and go, go down to the old savings and loan. Remember travelers' checks? Mm -hmm. Do they still exist? I think so. Do people use, use them? them? I don't think so. I don't, I don't know if that's a thing anymore. We went on a vacation. My dad would always get traveler's checks. Yeah, when we went on a vacation to Walt Disney World, and my parents are like, we got traveler's checks. And I was like, well, what the fuck are those? They're like, it's like money. But not. But it's protected. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's carry money. Because what if we get robbed? I'm like, at Walt Disney World? <laughs> <laughs> Give me all your money. <laughs> no funny business. <laughs> sure. Like a robber's going to go in there and it's like, I'm going to buy a ticket to Walt Disney World and just rob the people all day. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Donald Duck robs you. The happiest place on earth. I got robbed by the Mad Hatter. <laughs> He's fucking lost his mind. Well, very <laughs> merry on birthday. I'll be taking all your money. <laughs> Give it here, motherfucker. The Holds Hatter. the gun sideways. The Mad Hatter and the Charlie in the box. They're the, the same, same voice. voice. <laughs> 
Yes. Hey, are you on the island of Misfit Toys too? I'll be taking those travelers checks as well. You know you can't use them. It's brown. I don't give a shit. <laughs> no, neither of us can. Fuck you. Light them on fire. Asshole. <laughs> Who carries traveler checks? <laughs> I've never had a traveler's check. I don't even know how no. you would write them. Like, it, just go to your bank? I, guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What the fuck's a traveler's check? If you know what a traveler's check is. Contact us. <laughs> Please contact us. <laughs> How can they contact us? Listen. But he overhears that conversation. He's like, I'm going to get that money. So he comes up with an idea. Takes all the rats with him. And earlier he had used the rats to like spoil a dinner party for his boss. Oh, but yeah, yeah, that's but true. he does the same thing kind of. He's like, all right, we're going to go in there and get that money. But he goes to this house and he like cuts the phone lines, cuts the power, breaks into the house. He's dressed in all black with black gloves. You know, he's ready to... Be a cat, a rat burglar. <laughs> rat burglar. <laughs> Sends the rats in there and he's like, eat the door. And the rat's <laughs> like, eat the door. Yep. <laughs> Shit on my face. <laughs> well, afterwards. <laughs> we'll celebrate. Uh, they eat the door down and then the people wake up and they see all these they're rats like, and they're like, fuck this. They, they, they take leave. Off. He grabs the money. Walks right in. Whoop. Give me that money. And he goes. And all of a sudden he's paid his tax. He's up to date on his taxes. He's good. Problem solved. Well... This is when Mr. Martin fires yeah, Willard, Willard and, and Joan. Joan. Yeah. And so Willard's like, fuck this guy. He's like, my my rats won't just eat doors. And he goes back. Oh, and also Al uh, Martin, the Ernest Borgdon, uh, he kills Socrates. Because oh, Willard yeah, yeah, yeah. Willard's been this. bringing his rats to work and he's keeping them like in a storage room or something. Somebody sees, sees it and like, uh-huh. oh my God, there's rats. And he comes in with a stick. And he oh, beats and he, the shit out yeah, of Socrates. Yeah, he kills him. And he's like really proud of himself. He's like, yeah. But Ben and, is still alive. Yeah, and but Willard is just mortified and he can't say anything. So no. he doesn't tell him like that was my rat. He's just like, oh, So then fuck. he comes up with a plan to get revenge for Socrates, yep. avenge Socrates' death. And they go back that night and Ernest Borgnine's still in the office and he sicks the rats on Ernest Borgnine. And I will say, uh, I thought that scene was very well acted. The conversation between Willard and Ernest Borgnine, mm-hmm. I thought both of them did a good job there. Yeah. But it ends with him saying, uh, Willard, tear him up. <laughs> Willard says, <laughs> go fuck up his shit. Yeah. And they do. Yep. And they proceed to eat him, and then he jumps, he out, jumps out the window, window and dies. <laughs> dies. And then the rats are like munching on his corpse. And uh, Willard Pretty looks gross. out the window, and he's disgusted with it. He's like, oh, I, what feel, like, I, I feel like I've made a terrible mistake. So he goes home, and um, and he tells Ben, he's like, goodbye, Ben. <laughs> uh, and he... Uh, he well, he, he, go, he goes and has dinner with Joan. Yeah. He invites Joan. When over. he drowns the remaining rats... And then, oh, yeah. and then he invites Joan over for dinner because yep. now he's got all the rats out. And now he's like, I got everything taken care of. I've killed Martin. I got rid of the rats. Yeah, everything's and good. Everything's and he's real good. confident now. Like mm-hmm. his whole attitude has changed. And, and uh, then he sees Ben just kind of staring at him while he's eating with Joan. Yeah, and he's like, oh, shit. He's like, Joan, you got to get the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, you need to like, leave what? right now. We didn't even... I, uh, We're being banged. <laughs> he's like, uh, Never mind that. Get out of here. <laughs> and he sends her home. So then he uh, goes down and he sees that there's the rats like are all back. Yeah, like he didn't drown them, or he did drown some of them, and, and some maybe of them they got back. out or escaped yeah. or something. But yeah, there's still a shit ton of rats. And he he, he promises Ben, he's like, "All right, let me get you some food. Uh, but we'll make this good. We got to figure we got to figure something out." Sorry, ben, did sorry you know I tried ben, to murder your Did friends. you know Ben can read? <laughs> oh yeah, he looks. <laughs> that's poison. <laughs> because Willard puts poison in with the food, and then he puts the poison box down, the rat yeah. poison box. And Ben's looking he at the at box, him, <laughs> and he's like, and then he starts making, <laughs> like, like telling his rat friends, like, it's fucking poison. This yeah. guy's crazy. And so then Willard's like, oh, fuck you guys, and he runs upstairs, <laughs> and he goes into the attic, and then yeah, and they chase him. The and he's rat, like uh, attacking him with a broom. He's attacking Ben, and then the door opens, and all the rats come in, and they all start just fucking. Dog piling, rat piling on him. Yeah, and he's like, Ben, you I was, I was good to you, you cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in hell. <laughs> Fuck you, Ben. <laughs> the rats eat him. Yep. Alive. Yep. And then the end of the movie is just like a close up of Ben, and then it's just like still shot. Yeah. Willard. <laughs> end of movie. <laughs> I actually went into this movie going, all right. <laughs> I Like I said, I had seen the remake, and I. I remember hearing about this movie since I was a kid. You yeah. said you saw it when you were I saw 10. this one, right. Like, it's not... I mean, it's a horror film. Yeah. So to speak. Ish. 
but it's um, a kid could watch this. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I remember always thinking like, oh, it's just about a rat, and uh, it's about a guy who befriends a rat. It's and about so much. How more. could it be? A, how could it be a horror film? But it is uh, a horror film, and I actually enjoyed it more than I thought I would. Oh, nice. <laughs> so um, I thought the acting was good. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, it's 1971, and I'm sure this budget was uh, not. I didn't have a budget, but I'm sure it wasn't a lot. No, I couldn't imagine. Um, it being Ernest much. Borgnine, uh, well-known actor at this point, he had won an Oscar. Uh, yeah, I think he's before. the best actor in the movie. Uh, Elsa Lanchester is in this. Uh, she does. She does just fine. People are kind of annoying, but they're supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, like the one annoying neighbor lady. She's kind of an over actor. Oh but. yeah, very much. But it's very. Uh, it's kind of predictable. Mm-hmm. Like you know what's going to happen. Uh, you know that he's going to use the rats, and then it's going to overtake him, and then he's going to be like, oh, "I got to get rid of this," and then they're going to overtake yeah, him. Yeah, and that's exactly what happens. And that's why it happens. So. Uh, I don't know, probably like two and a half for me. Okay, yeah, we're we're pretty much on the same page. I went two on this one. It's uh, it's okay. Like I, it's just not a movie I would recommend. So I'm not quite to like. I think people should see this movie. It's 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 kind of boring. It's a little slow. But if you got kids, like I mean, you could do worse. I mean, <laughs> if you got kids, you could do worse. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I mean, that, that in and of itself, I think, tells you, like, I'm not recommending this movie, but, yeah. like, it's not terrible, but, meh. Like, I, I, it'd been probably 30 years since I'd seen it. Yeah. i will go another 30 and be just fine. I probably won't ever watch this movie yeah. again, but it was surprised. But you liked it more I than you thought you would. myself. Yeah. 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 And um, I had never known that they were, that there was two separate movies. <laughs> I didn't know that Willard and Ben were two separate movies. Oh, really? I thought the remake of Willard was actually a remake of Ben. Ah. And they just called it Willard. Yeah. You know how they'll do that sometimes mm-hmm. with movies? Yeah. So I didn't know there was an original Willard until recently. I'm an idiot. Well, it, Kid Me was an idiot because like when I saw this movie, I was like, when's the Michael Jackson song going to happen? <laughs> and I think my mom or dad was like, oh, no, that's a different movie. And I was like, what? And they were like, do you want to watch the other movie? And I was like, no, I'm good. <laughs> no, I don't think that conversation happened. <laughs> but it probably would have been like, no. Yeah. This movie was just all right. Well, this movie was a success, yep. and it did spawn a sequel um, in 1972 called Ben. Yeah, they jumped right on it next year. Tear him up! No, right! No, no! No, right! Where Willard ended, Ben begins. Ben is coming from Cinerama releasing, and this time, he's not alone. Maybe he was Ben. That's the name of the leader of the rats. There were some pages from Willard's diary in the newspapers. Ben and his army of rats are on the way. Released June 23rd, 1972. What was the number one movie? Okay, so I'm thinking summer movie, 1972. The only thing I could really think of, uh, and this is a movie I actually really like. Maybe someday we'll review it because I think it's kind of a horror movie. Uh, I'm going to go with Alfred Hitchcock's Frenzy. <clears throat> no. Damn. This movie is called Shaft's Big Score. <laughs> <laughs> Shaft. Yep. Damn right. Shaft's Big Score. I, I don't know. I've never seen a Shaft movie. I haven't either. But that was the number one movie. The number one song? I'm going with Saturday in the Park by Chicago. Saturday in the the park. park. I I think think it was the 4th of July. July. No. No, it was The Candyman by Sammy Davis Jr. The Candyman. Take a rainbow. (laughs) The Candyman. Sprinkle it with (laughs) dreams. That's Sammy Davis. Yeah, baby. God, that was the 70s? That song feels old. I mean, it is old, but it was older than that. (laughs) Yeah. No, it was uh, 1972. It should have been Chicago. <laughs> it should have been. I love that song. You know that guy who sings that from the Chicago? That's not Peter Cetera. No. That's the other guy? Yeah. That guy accidentally killed himself. Oh, shit. He was fucking around playing Russian, Russian roulette. roulette. And then he's like, look, it's not even loaded. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it was loaded. <laughs> and Spoiler he, alert. That, <laughs> there's a bullet died. in there. He's dead now. <laughs> that's fucked up. That sucks. Mm. Oh, man. No bueno. When people die from accidents like yeah, that, I, don't fuck around with guns. No, no. Not even fake guns. No. 
Not even water guns. Not even toy guns. A super soaker? Don't fuck around with that, that shit. There around. could be acid in there. It could be. Could be. Could be. Could could be. Full of it rat could, shit. It could be a kid's piss. Mm-hmm. You ever see semen. that movie, The Boy Who Could Fly? <laughs> a long time ago. With Fred Savage? He fills up a water gun with piss. And he shoots <laughs> the bullies. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so he's like, what is this? He's like, piss. <laughs> Yeah. Something like that, yeah. God, I forgot about that movie. The Boy Who Could Fly, it's awesome. Yeah. I used to watch it all the time. <laughs> I forgot about the piss water gun. Good it used stuff. to be on, like, the Disney Channel, I think, would show it, like, all the time back I think the I day. saw that at the movie theater. Like, really? Like, little kid. Wow. Real little. So when they come out, like, 86? Probably. Something like that. Yeah, so I'd have been, like, five Maybe or six even years old. Maybe even before that. Oh, so long ago. Don't they... There's also another piss joke in another Fred Savage movie. That movie, uh... Maybe little, that's what I'm Little of. Monsters? Oh, okay. Where they piss in the apple juice? <laughs> the, kid, the, the bully drinks of. it. Maybe. They put they put cat food in his tuna sandwich and they piss in his apple juice. <laughs> Fucking Howie Mandel. Uh, uh the candy man. Written, <laughs> okay. Ben. <laughs> ben. Written by Gilbert Ralston. Again, with yep. characters He's by back. Stephen Gilbert. So this wasn't based on the book anymore. This was just characters. This is by. a sequel. Yep. Directed by Phil Carlson. Music by Walter Scharf. Sharf? Sharf. Cast. We got a uh, little Danny Garrison played by Lee Harcourt Montgomery. Dude, you know what I think is funny is that kid. Mm-hmm. I was like, have I seen this kid in anything else? A couple weeks ago, we talked about the briefly about the movie Girls Just Want to Have Fun. Is he in that? He's Sarah Jessica Parker's dance partner guy. Oh, geez, that's funny. Yeah, I was like, oh. Was he in anything else? Nah, that's all I know. Okay. I'm sure he's in some other things. but um, <laughs> Joseph Campanella plays Cliff Kirtland. Arthur O'Connell plays Billy Hatfield. Rosemary Murphy plays Beth Garrison. That's Danny's mom. And Meredith Baxter. She was so young in this. Family Ties mom. Yeah. This was like the first movie movie she she did. She looked so different. So different. Yeah. This was before she was Meredith Baxter Bernie and then before she was Meredith Baxter again because she divorced that guy. (laughs) Uh, She plays the sister, Eve. That's pretty much it. There's some other people in this. I don't have any box office or budget information. This movie's pretty simple. It's pretty much the same fucking story. No, I'm just <laughs> it's different. It, it's pretty similar, though. It is similar. So Danny Garrison. Probably even more simple, though. Yeah. Danny Garrison is this. Well, okay. It picks up exactly where the right, first where, one. Like the first five minutes of the movie are the like condensed five, five minutes, minutes of the of Willard. Yeah. And it shows Willard getting eaten alive. And then it shows the cops there. And Dan- <laughs> Danny and his family are like watching. Can we talk about these cops and neighbors? <laughs> okay. Every single scene, and there's several uh, in the movie where there's like bystanders or people, townsfolk come to like gawk at some weird thing that's happened, and they all just stand there, mouth agape, with their mouths agape <laughs> in just, silence. Yeah. Like no one does that. I do. <laughs> you just stand there going. When I was watching this movie, I was like this. Yeah, the whole time you're just. <laughs> what am I watching? Like at your, like your non existent watch. Like, when is this over? Yeah. I just think it's kind of sick that everybody's watching because they all want to see the dead body. <laughs> yeah. But no one says anything. It's just very unnatural. And it happens several times in the movie. Where it's like, oh, they'll just stand there like, imbe- They're extras, like imbeciles. Okay. We're not going to pay them. Can't give them speaking lines. <laughs> no, because they will have to pay them. Sad Can't even minimum. get them all to say rhubarb. rhubarb, rhubarb. <laughs> just mouth it. Yeah. Uh, Danny and his family are watching. And then the family's like, we got to go. Danny's like, I want to see the body. I want to see the corpse. <laughs> Let me see it. Danny's had some problems in his life. He's got a heart condition. Got a bum ticker. And uh, his dad's dead. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think so. And uh, his sister is unemployed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she just she hasn't got home. that family ties gig yet. <laughs> nope. She designs clothes, I think. Oh, does she? I didn't even pick up I on think that. that's what she's doing. <laughs> that's cool. Mom is working all the time. And so sister is like helping take care of Danny. Yeah. Danny has his own little shed. Where he puts uh, marionette shows on, and he has like it's a pretty cool shed though. Like he's got his own little workbench, and he's got a train set. He's got a custom sign, yeah, that was made like it's like for him. Danny Garrison, Danny's private. marionette show, yeah, private keep it's out live nudes. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get the audience. Mm. He uh, goes out there, and he's a he's a song and dance man. <laughs> He's Garrison. got like a reel to reel player and he's playing music and he's like, boop, bop, bidi, boo, da, scat man. Like, he makes up a song about good morning. It's great to be awake. Good morning. And he's like doing a little dance with the with marionette. a little marionette making up songs. Yeah. <laughs> this little like, fucker. I was like, all right, all right. All right, I'm with you. I'm picking up what you're throwing down there, Danny Garrison. 
Well, okay. So, meanwhile, the cops are trying to find Willard's killers, which are the rats. <laughs> yes. And they're like, there's got to be rats around here. And all the rats are hiding. Well, and in that opening scene, one of the rat or a bunch of rats kill one of the other cops. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> it's like, they were like, all right, you watch the back. You watch the front. We'll get these rats. And then the one guy's like, I hear something. And he goes What's in that? there. He pries open a wall and all these rats jump on him and <laughs> fucking kill him. <laughs> and the other cop, like when he reports it to them, he's like distraught. He's like, <gasps> he's right there. And <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> Like, get here's, it my, here's my best friend. I'm gonna smack you. Get it together, man. He was two days from retirement. He was I'm like too old for this shit. <laughs> it's super, super sad. It's a very emotional scene. It was. And uh, also, apparently, the the press is allowed at the scene of the crime wherever they want to go. Yes, because there's like a there's reporter. Like he's just right there. So, like, oh, I see the guy got uh, rat shit all over his face. Uh, <laughs> it might have been a sex thing. What do you think? The detective's like, we're not talking to you. Hell out of here. But then we are talking to you. Yeah, there's a there's a word for that. <laughs> Print it. <laughs> I'm not saying this is what happened, but this is what, this happened. what happened. Anonymous source. <laughs> let, let, let me just kind of throw this out there, too. Intercut throughout the movie are scenes of these rats, like, breaking into various places <laughs> and eating... Eating Kellogg's. Everything. <laughs> they eat Kellogg's. Did you see the box of Count Chocula in yes, the background? I did. I was like, oh, <laughs> awesome. Cool. I'd eat that shit. Um, they break into this grocery store and they just demolish it. There's a cheese shop. <laughs> they break into the fucking cheese shop. And then shop. there's a gym next door to the cheese oh, shop. And they go there and they wreak havoc at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> they go, and it's like a, it's like all women at the gym, all right. It's like a spa, and it's like a f- all female spa. And you got women like in the in those sauna machines, like where your head just sticks out. Yeah, <laughs> it's all zipped up. And they got those machines, like it's like a big rubber it band. Vib- <laughs> yeah, yeah, that it vibrates the it's fat like, away. It's like out of a Bugs Bunny cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a, but then those things. But they're are, like, oh, rats. Oh, and then there's this big buff dude who's like training the ladies, and he's like, oh, oh, get back here, rat. Oh, I'll, I'll bash you good. <laughs> Uh, they break into a semi truck and they get into the uh, oh yeah while he's driving he's like and and he he crashes crashes and kills somebody (laughs) it's like blows up the rats Uh, are wreaking havoc and the cops are like we gotta find these rats so they're on a mission throughout this whole movie to find these rats to rid the world of rats (laughs) okay (laughs) meanwhile Danny's sitting at home playing with his fucking puppets and uh, he looks out and there's fucking Ben yeah, at the screen he's like, door. He's like, hey, you little guy. Hey, fella, come here. You want he's some like, food? And then Ben's like... He's like, oh, your name's Ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to shit on my face? <laughs> maybe maybe later. <laughs> oh, actually, that sounds great. Right now. <laughs> Do it. That's pretty much how it goes. This but, fucking, wait, but it can't be too hot. i got a bad heart. <laughs> this fucking Danny, he's like, I talked to him. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we understand each other. He knows English. Yep. And he speaks and rat. I, and, and I, I know speak, rat. And I speak, I, I'm fluent rat. <laughs> in fact, my heart. It took me a minute to- was part rat. Yes. He put a rat heart. heart in me, and that's how I can speak. The rats have various dialects. Fortunately, I know this particular dialect of rat. Yep. Yeah. How he knows his name is Ben, though, they do kind of explain, because I guess uh, Willard had been keeping a Some diary. journals. Or, yeah, yeah. And uh, the rat man's <laughs> notebook, or whatever the fuck that book was called. Uh and they had released it in the press, right? Because that yeah. newspaper reporter was right there. Yeah, and he's like, oh, I wonder if that's Ben. Yeah. I'm going to call you Ben. And he's like, is your name Ben? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> excellent. I thought so. <laughs> is that with Ben with two N's? <laughs> like, it, why would it be two N's? Do you want me to call you Benjamin? Is that too proper? <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin's my father's name. <laughs> call me Ben. All right. He makes a marionette puppet out of Ben. And he makes well, it. Well, not out of him. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, hold still. <laughs> <laughs> Cuts him open Fills him with sawdust That would have been fucking awesome yes. He's just this fucking psychotic little kid And he's just cutting the rat open he's out, The movie's about how he makes his puppets He's my friend uh-huh. yeah, We don't want to see how he made that mm. little kid puppet No <laughs> Speaking of which, where's Tommy? <laughs> Nowhere No, he uh, makes a, 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 a Ben a marionette ben marionette, And makes it dance for Ben And Ben's like, oh, he's enjoying it And he's like, oh, you want to see it again, Ben? And he plays the same fucking song <laughs> Yeah, right after. Like, we hear this annoying-ass song. He says the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. You want to hear it again, Ben? Dude, I was so pissed. I heard that song twice. I was like... <laughs> In a row. Come on, back man. Back. Yeah. Like, no gap. Yeah. <laughs> I think when they were writing it, they were like, you know what, the audience, they're going to want to hear this, this like, second time. Okay. 
Speaking of songs. <laughs> so one night, Little Miss uh, <laughs> Keaton is doing some work on the floor while Danny is. Oh, is uh, this? Oh, playing but the before piano. he does the piano though, he's also playing the harmonica. Fucking John Popper over here, <laughs> just like, just blasting, making up songs. Like this kid is talented. <laughs> Why you want to give me the runaround? Hey, hey, wait a second. <laughs> and also, the hook brings, brings you me back. back. Yeah. On that, you can rely. <laughs> this fucking kid sitting out at the piano, right? And he's playing this fucking chord progression. It's like, oh. And then he's like, "Okay, Ben, the two, the of, two us of us need look no more. No more. Mm -hmm. We've both found what we've been, been looking, looking for. for. It's like, are you a fucking <laughs> asshole? That kind of a song's written. <laughs> yeah, come on. He's like, it's too high to get over. <laughs> It's too low to get under. <laughs> stuck You're stuck in the, in the middle. middle, and the pain is thunder. thunder. <laughs> mama say mama sa mama kusa. Mama say mama sa mama kusa. You're a vegetable. <laughs> and they hate you. <laughs> they hate you. You're a vegetable. No, he. that's how he writes, yeah, he writes quote unquote, writes this fucking song in the movie. And that scene goes on. I mean, he goes through the, all the fucking lyrics. Yes. It was painful like the whole just song. listening yeah. to us do it. Watch, watch fucking little Danny Garrison go through it. This little fucker, and it's like the creation okay, of Ben. You're 12. Yeah, you you're not that writing song. that song. Michael Jackson didn't even write that song. No, he had a songwriter. Yeah, somebody wrote that song for him. <laughs> and by the way, Michael Jackson at least sang it. Yeah, you little fuck. <laughs> you're just talking it. Yeah, you're just a songwriter at best. <laughs> And he got a bad heart. And your dad's dead. He's like, <laughs> and you're married. That suck. Yeah, your puppets are stupid. Your best friend's a fucking rat. Yeah, you're pathetic, loser. I'm give you a wedgie. <laughs> also, well, speaking yeah. of this, <laughs> fucking goes, Billy, right? He goes into the back uh, alley of his house, and he's like going to put Ben at home or whatever, because Ben sneaks in with him and sleeps with him in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, crawls up his ass. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> oh, Ben. <laughs> Ben. <laughs> he goes, Benny. Ow, oh, I mean Ben. I'm sorry. Don't call you Benny. Or Benny. Benny. <laughs> that felt good. Um, <laughs> but he's leading him. He's leading him back home the next day, and this uh, fucking bully comes up. <laughs> he's like, "Hey, what's your problem?" <laughs> he's hey, like, fuck face. <laughs> pretty much what he says and he, this kid immediately like starts talking shit to him yeah it's like what yeah he's a bully he's like why don't you ever come out of your house is it because you're a wuss you're yeah. a wuss because your dad's dead because <laughs> your heart sucks <laughs> and uh then ben sicks the rats on this kid and they bite his fucking ankles and, and he he's goes, like oh he's he runs like home mommy, to mama. mommy mommy <laughs> well the next scene they're over there the mom and this little billy <laughs> are over there and um he's like he sick rats on me it's like, what? Is that what you would think? Yeah, like he, that he, he's sick. He speaks rat and he sicked them on me. <laughs> I'd be like, uh, you're an idiot. Yeah. But uh, they believe the kid, but then they don't because then the mom's like, oh, you were picking on little Danny Garrison? Yeah. And Danny says that he fell in a rose bush. Yeah. So, uh, but then his sister doesn't really quite believe him. She's like, you've been talking to rats, haven't you? When he has mentioned it several times that he met a rat named Ben, like he's not secretive about it, but nobody believes him. But we also know that there's rats that are out and that rats killed the neighbor. Yeah. And and have but caused- But uh, he's like, ah, it's just an imaginary Caused thing. havoc in the whole yeah. fucking town. Let's not investigate this. Well, ultimately it comes out that he does know where the rats are and the cops come over and that cop almost grabs that harmonica and shoves it up Danny's ass. <laughs> he's like, fuck you, kid. <laughs> That's right. That cop does not take any shit. Shoves it up his ass like show me the brown note. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the cops find where Danny, uh, where Ben and all the other rats are living, and they're living in the sewers underneath the town. Yeah, they got like a lair just full of rats. Just rats everywhere. Rats shitting and fornicating everywhere. Yep, it's great. <laughs> Willard, Willard would be very happy. Yep. <laughs> so... Um, uh, little Danny goes down there because he's like, I'm going to save Ben. I got to save Ben. I got to warn him. He's got to get Mrs. Ben out and their kids. <laughs> and uh, so he goes down there and he's like, come on, Ben, you got to ben, come out. And ben's, please. Ben's like, I'm going please. down with the ship. Yeah, and Ben's like, nah, fuck off, kid. Yeah, I was just using you. I was just <laughs> using you for sex. <laughs> <laughs> you were nothing to me. Yeah. 
Ah, fuck you, kid. Get out of here. <laughs> Say hi to your dad. Oh, oh. wait. Oh. <laughs> well, Ben's sister comes an down. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking Ben's an asshole. <laughs> Smoking a little rat yeah, cigarette. I wrote a song about you, Ben. <laughs> song sucks. <laughs> I hear Donny Osmond passed. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, sister goes down there looking for him. She shimmies through the little uh, fucking Pennywise uh, yeah. <laughs> great grill. Super great. Yeah. And then uh, they, she does get him. Well, meanwhile, the cops and the pest people or the whole fucking Dude, National Guard. They got fucking flamethrowers. They mean okay. business. All right. Did this... Was it me? Or... Was it just me, or did this scene of them killing these rats go on for like 15, 20 minutes? It was long. Holy shit, David. <laughs> I was watching this, and my eyes were getting heavy. Yeah, the final act is pretty long. Oh, brutal. Yeah, and just going through with flamethrowers, and it's really bad special effects, because you know, obviously they're not going to burn real rats. live animals. Yeah, <laughs> or will they? For our entertainment. Uh, yeah, yeah, just going down and flame, flaming yeah. all these rats. They kill all of them. Yeah. And then uh, Danny's very Danny's sad. sad. He's, He's like distraught, standing at the window crying. Ben, <laughs> two of us, we look no more. <laughs> How'd that song go? I didn't write any of it fucking down. <laughs> it's all shit, I can get better. It's like, the kid is not my son. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Gonna dance on the floor in the round. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty young thing. What's What even is that? He goes out to his workshop, and he's like, "I can't fucking marionette right now. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't do. Sad. I can't do two songs in a row. <laughs> Not tonight." Just, and then he looks at the window, and who's there? Ben. ben. He's a little worse for wear, though. He's Ben's all fucked, fucked up. up. <laughs> but he's like, "I'm gonna revive you, Ben." He grabs a fucking first aid kit. He yeah, starts grabbing <laughs> some iodine and like washing. Got a his... needle and thread. <laughs> all right, like, stitch you up. Get you as good as new, Ben. He puts on a rubber glove, <laughs> and Ben's like, ah! Time for a little payback. <laughs> yeah, we can get a, check your prostate, Ben. <laughs> oh. The end. Yep. And then we hear Michael Jackson. Ben, yeah. Sing Ben. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful song. I like that it song, really actually. I like the song. I like the song, too. <laughs> can we talk about the song? It's great. <laughs> uh, okay, so... This movie is not as good as Willard. Um, it's boring. It's the same movie again. But not even. But not, not even as, as good. interesting. No. no, I mean, it's just the kid finds a rat, and cops are looking for rats, and the rats do rat shit. And that's the movie. And then there's a song. And then there's and then Michael they, Jackson the kill, song. Cops kill all the rats. Danny gets pissed. They're sad. <laughs> yeah, and then everything's okay. So I'm going to give this one a one and a half. Um, I would not recommend this movie. It's boring. It's just... It's not very good. Willard is much better, and in my opinion, Willard's not even that good, but yeah, Willard is the better of the two. I mean, just to make it easy, I'll go one and a half, because I could go one on this, yeah. too, because it is long, it is it's boring, boring, and it's like... The kid's annoying. The kid is super fucking annoying, and him writing that Ben song is the worst fucking slash best fucking scene in this movie. <laughs> yeah, and I wouldn't even say that the kid is annoying, it's the writing is annoying. Uh, yeah, yeah, nothing wrong yeah, with the, the kid. Yeah, the kid's performance is fine, but the... It's just ridiculous. Yeah. So, what is that? A one, a one and a half. Yeah. Kind of. Fuck you, Ben. <laughs> Fuck you, Ben. Yeah. Ben, the two of us need watch your movie no more. <laughs> We've both determined that this movie is, is a, a fucking, fucking bore. <laughs> that is how songs are written, that, David. That, we did it. <laughs> oh if my god! If you want to contact us <laughs> to hear more songs that we've written. <laughs> <laughs> How could they contact us, David? Uh, on social media, Twitter, Facebook, the Slasher app, TikTok. Just search the Swearwolves. Um, also search for the Swearwolves on YouTube. Um, if you're on Instagram, look for us under the Swearwolves podcast. You can go to our website, theswearwolves.com. You can email us at swearwolvespodcast at gmail.com. Or you can leave us a voicemail at 623-282-1851. So for the Swearwolves this week, I'm Brett. I'm David. <laughs> oh, what's that? Uh, oh, you want to shit on my face? <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs>